we were it's about time for me to look for my brand new apartment. I've been to the psychic a few times. Everything she has ever said has come true. Hi everyone and welcome back. The whole purpose of a vlog with a spiritual lesson is obviously to document what I'm not doing very well. Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday, um, time is an illusion. January 8th and I am heading out right now to go for a walk with Renee. I've been spending a lot of time in my apartment just working and resting just with weird energy this week. So I'm excited to get out, get some fresh air, get in some exercise and then I have EFT this afternoon. But yay, excited to be back in the groove with the vlogging, woo! I also love this Nike sweater so much. I forgot I had it. I found it in my closet this morning and I was like, woo, done, wearing that. Actually, funny story about this sweater. I Have you ever like seen something, like someone else was wearing it and you became obsessed with it? I saw a Pinterest post where someone was wearing it. It's like this oatmeal color with the Nike symbol and I could not get it out of my head and so, I was scouring the internet probably for 40 minutes a few months ago trying to find this because I just, I wanted this exact sweater after I saw it and it was sold out everywhere but I finally found it at Dick's Sporting Goods. It's super soft on the inside and I don't know, I just think it's super cute. Hello my friends and welcome back to my vlog. If you're new here, my name is Haley Hoffman Smith and I am the friend who helps you bring your pipe dreams to reality through manifestation and motivation. I am getting back into the swing of spiritual vlogs. If you're new here once again, or if you don't remember, you found me during Vlogmas, I really like to have one central spiritual theme to orient my vlogs around since I love everything spiritual. I like to call myself like a spirit junkie for that or at least use that hashtag on Instagram and TikTok. There's so many books that I read and podcasts that I listen to about spiritual truths, but life and like the day to day is where rubber meets the road. Like I like to think of it as almost testing out the theories in the arena or on the battleground. A cool way to explore that is by deciding, okay, this week I'm going to be exploring this spiritual lesson and obviously I have no idea what's gonna happen this week. I root the spiritual lesson in what feels like it's coming up as a theme in my life or something that I want to apply and then use it to be educational for you, something that you can think through, something that you can internalize and then see how it comes out. <laughs> I am excited but also nervous because it's about time for me to look for my brand new apartment. I have my lease ending coming up pretty soon. There's no rush here, but it is time for me to look for a new apartment and figure out what I'm doing. I have loved my studio apartments, but I think it's time for more space hopefully. And I did a little bit of looking actually on Friday and what's coming up for me is this lesson that my EFT practitioner Tiffany told me about yesterday. She told me that I should keep telling myself as an affirmation, I attract everything that I need. And I really wanna live by that this week because it makes sense, right? As we live, as we go through our lives, we do attract everything we need, right? If something is meant to be, things are gonna to fall together to ensure it's happening, to ensure it's being. And it's hard to apply for New York City apartments when you're self-employed. And you know, I'm like financially independent. So the thing that's worrying me most is, it's not necessarily like being able to afford something that I really, really like and something that makes me feel excited and something that's high vibe but all the details associated with applying for an apartment as a self-employed person because in New York City it's really hard to get approved for things. I should stop saying this because my subconscious is going to hear that. I shouldn't say it's really hard but it is more of a challenge than most places where you're getting approved for an apartment but in general like anytime you're getting approved for something it's like I just find myself really fixating upon the worry about it and the worry of the details and trying to like hyper control. I also need to understand that if something is meant to be, I'll attract everything that I need for it. So we'll see with that one. I'm just keep, I'm gonna keep reminding myself of that and it's gonna be another great week. We're coming up upon the second week of January, I think, technically like second full week of January, January 2021. So excited to get fully into the swing of the new year and search for my new apartment slash try to figure out some things 
ends with that and to find my calm center believing as always that I'll attract everything I need as will you I am going to head out here in a little bit to explore the Upper West Side as like a fun outdoor activity with my best friends Alyssa and Rachel the three of us haven't been together in a really long time because we're all doing our own thing for the holidays and then have done our quarantines so it'll be so fun of course I'll take you along Woo! <laughs> Okay, my camera is literally dying. I finished up what I just vlogged just now, all my, like, about the concerns, about how I attract everything that I need. I'm, like, shaking. And I am, like, oh my gosh, my camera's about to die. I should finish up the segment. I go to turn off my camera. I'm gonna go find my charger, and I look at my laptop, and look what it says. I took a picture because it went away after, but I took a picture on my phone. Look what my laptop said. Don't worry. I got it all planned out. Say hi to the vlog. Aww, <laughs> Apparently, Breaker watches my vlog with Alyssa, so this is gonna be a fame moment for him. Yeah. Breaker, say to you, say hi to you yourself in advance. Oh. <laughs> the difference between our drinks. Alyssa got a beer. Rach and I are doing Whole 30, so she got a coffee, and I got a hot cocoa. Cause why not? Back with my girl. Yay! I would lift this up, but I really don't want to spill it. I just want to enjoy it. We're at the Smith, which is the restaurant where I decided to move to New York City. Not the same location, actually, but we're in the Columbus Circle area, which is another favorite place. <laughs> like Welcome back yeah. to New York. Woohoo! New year, new us. Wow, chicka. Wow, wow. <laughs> Aladdin's cut. Happy Sunday. I'm heading to Whole Foods. It's like a 20 minute walk. Uh, so yeah, getting some movement in and getting some healthy food. Don't make me do this. I feel so foolish. I've been sitting with my ring light looking at this mirror to get ready. Just because I like having a bigger mirror. But I got all this stuff from Sephora that I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to try out this body lotion from Drunk Elephant. Then I just got this eyebrow gel from Milk. Because that's that look is obviously super in. This is the best clay mask I've ever used. I actually got a sample. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know why this isn't focusing. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Goddess Skin Clay Mask. And it's just unreal. It's unbelievable. It's so good. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning. Normal just eyeliner. Brooke showed me, if you saw my last vlog, um, how to put liner on the inner waterline of your eye and how that looks so freaking good I'll show you guys this eyeshadow palette when I open it But it's makeup by Mario and then I also got this glow one by him Of course we got some matte lipstick more lipstick from Fenty lip liner, which we love and then This cream I guess it's like a vitamin C cream It's by the same people that do the really good lip mask the Laneige brands and then triple sec the hairspray stuff from it makes your hair like fresh and smell really good from dry bar here's the other reason why doing my makeup right here is the move i can watch my how i met your mother behind me in the mirror while i'm doing my makeup it's perfect because then i can enjoy doing my makeup while also watching and listening yay hi you guys happy 111 january 11th it's a monday morning i'm getting ready to film some tiktoks because i have some fun manifesting gratitude exercises that people can do around 111 so stay tuned for that but this was the stuff i was showing you yesterday this triple sex stuff by dry bar and I wish I could like put a smell through the camera so you guys could smell how amazing it smells but it's supposed to give your hair I just finished like touching up my curl this tousled look and kind of just refresh it because this is like third day hair I think <laughs> just being honest with y'all I don't know if you can tell but it does kind of give it a little extra volume a little more of like a rarer to it so I could not recommend this stuff more also the other stuff I got that I showed you I tried it last night and this morning and I'm blown away it's the Laneige radiant sea cream it smells amazing it smells like tangerines like those little cutie ones that you can get and it feels so good on your skin it feels so hydrating but like cold and the other one that i always like to use because of like the smell is the ginseng origins but this one it's like i have such dry skin and when i put it on i like to like cake it on because my skin feels so dry but it has this tendency to almost, it's like there's too much product. I don't know how to describe it. It starts to flake off. It's really weird. I had none of that with this. It just made my skin really soft and dewy. So yeah, TikTok time. <laughs> okay, I just got off a good, really good coaching call. And I am racing up to the Upper East Side to San Ambrose to see Ankita, who I haven't seen in so long. Hi guys. Okay, Ankita is here. Hi guys. 
and we're about to go on a little walkie walk i just gave her her christmas I present so i got much. her the uh, night sky thing so it's for the moment that she was born because she just clarified her birth time recently <laughs> you guys know i'm super into astrology and been getting on keto more and more into astrology. i mean she's she, already into it you're getting me more into it i mean yeah. i for the longest time thought that the time i was born was 7 30 in the morning and then i checked with my mom and she was like well <laughs> that, was, that was a guess. She was like, that was a guess. It was a guess. Like, the crazy thing is because she found yeah. out it was 8.30 a.m., yeah. she found out she's a Sagittarius rising instead of a Scorpio, Scorpio rising. Scorpio rising, yeah. And I'm a Sagittarius rising, too. So anyways, this is like the exact constellation of the sky the moment she was born. I love it so much. Best Christmas gift I've gotten this year, so I'm so happy. Just this year? In my <laughs> lifetime, of course. I have like really Indian parents, if anyone was watching this, really. So I, every time I ask my mom, like, what are you getting for me for the holidays? She's like, I birthed you. <laughs> That's your Christmas gift. I'm telling you guys, the there night sky go. is like the best for gifts, like anniversary gifts too, if it's like the moment that you met somebody or I haven't seen you guys in so long. I so know, nice I've been to see you. you. Yes. <laughs> We're back together and gonna grab coffee and walk along the water. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, my friends. It is 20 minutes until the activation and alignment ceremony for the mastermind that I'm hosting. Really excited to host a ceremony that's all about getting in alignment with your manifestations because today was the new moon in Capricorn. So good for setting long-term goals and um, a plan for the long-term goals. So I've been prepping for that. But while I am drinking my tea and letting the, the tea stew, it's my honey chamomile once again, uh, I thought I'd record an update because it's just been one of those weeks where you guys know I have been looking for an apartment. Um, I didn't know what the approval process would look like. I've been feeling stressed about it. That's why I've been you know, going through this spiritual lesson of you attract everything that you need. And the crazy thing is on Saturday, when I first, when I was recording this vlog to get started, my camera died. But as I recorded, all of a sudden Siri had this message that said, don't worry, I got it all planned out. And I am like certain that it was from my granddad, but then things get even weirder. So I am looking around. I, I know the apartment that I want essentially, and my heart is still like kind of pitter pattering, which we'll get to. I hate uncertainty. I'm definitely learning this lesson as we go. But a few days later on Monday night, I was working on mastermind emails and I went to basically like put the subject line into the email and the subject line populated with you are not alone. This is weird. This is my first time saying it out loud. I'm like, what was the tone intended? You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. <laughs> unclear but it also felt like another really clear sign for my granddad and it's been really amazing because throughout you know, the process of actually like applying for my dream apartment um of everything it's been honestly seamless like shockingly seamless kind of like emotionally exhausting just because i'm so excited and it just feels like such an up level it's almost like my concern that it wasn't gonna be seamless and then my shock that it was is like producing itself in the form of another obstacle it is so minor like i really hope i look back at this and i i can tell because my logical brain is like Haley, you gotta stop but my emotional side is like i just want to get this finalized i'm so excited about this i just really don't want anything to like stand in between me and this anymore but basically i found this guarantor service and i'm able to just pay them a fee to guarantee my lease since i'm self-employed so i can't prove like for the past two years i made this much and here's my employment letter and here's like you know it's just hard. So I was going to pay today, right? I was like, okay, this is happening. I'm like paying this deposit for the, guarant the guarantor thing. And the payment portal isn't working. And I called my bank, I called Amex. I was like, what's happening? And they're like, no, the charge doesn't even show up. So I tried it with two of my other cards. I only have three cards, so I'm kind of running out of options here. And it's not working and they say it's not on their end. So it sounds minor, especially as I talk it out, but it's like the one final thing on the to-do list before everything gets finalized. And so I just have to release resistance to it, right? I want to share these things. I want to show you behind the scenes of when things are coming together and the times in which I do feel sort of out of control. And that's just coming up for me now because I'm so excited but it's almost like I'm not fully allowing myself to be in that excitement because I'm like well what could go wrong if I was talking to myself right now I'd be like Haley it's their fault they have to fix it or else no one's ever gonna be able to pay for anything on their platform ever again <laughs> like you know that's been what's going on I also had a really good session with a human design expert um, her name's Taylor Curry I'm gonna have her come on my podcast but it was my first time learning anything about human design 
which incorporates like Vedic astrology, like a lot about the chakras. It was so epic to learn about myself and my chart in that way. And something she said that stood out to me was that, I forgot the exact terminology she used, but basically I'm somebody who needs warm things when I'm being creative. So even if I'm ever gonna get like a cold meal, like a salad, she said I should put like a warm shrimp on it or like warm chicken. And when I'm getting creative, like sitting down to work on something, I should ideally like bundle up in a blanket and have tea or something. So I'm just cuddling with my tea before the ceremony starts. Also, I've gotten a lot of questions from my other vlog on the psychic that I went to. So I've been to the psychic a few times. By a few, I probably would say like five times since November of 2019 and everything she has ever said has come true. Even she explained this exact apartment that I think I'm moving into, which is wild. I'm like, lean on that Haley. A little payment portal glitch can get in the way of that. I especially wanted to go talk to her because times in the past where I've talked to her, she said like certain family members have come through, like family members who have passed. And, you know, I had like grandparents who died when I was very young, but, you know, losing my granddad is really like the first person who I was really, really, really close with who passed away. So I wanted to see if he would come through. Like I wanted to give it a little bit of time. But anyways, I did this session with a psychic last week because I just wanted to see if he came through. And the, the crazy thing is he, he totally did. Even if I was a complete skeptic, the things that she said that he was seeing or he was mentioning, they're just things you can't make up. Things that also like nobody would know so just if by Googling him or whatever. So that just filled me with so much comfort. I think before that I was honestly still really struggling with a lot of it. Like I still feel sadness, but it's not to the degree that it was before. Like before I just suddenly start crying or I'd feel kind of like anxious and these, these pings of grief and now knowing that he's with me just by talking with her and then the things that happened this week totally new ball game i feel very fortunate to have not known death very well throughout my life just to be candid i haven't lost m many people right it's almost like through learning about death and i think i had another youtube vlog on this but through learning about death like that's how we really understand life and i also think realizing how thin of a veil there is between death and life it's like wow all this is so interconnected but i still only have like this one chance on this planet in this lifetime right so i want to do every big thing i want to get my dream apartment i want to fight for it you know i want to go where i feel called so these are just things that have been going on i promise there'll be more exciting vlogs too and i've really been feeling the need to be a homebody lately like i really haven't been going out to do a lot a lot of that is, I think I've shared that I'm doing dry January and not drinking all month. So usually it'd be like, oh, let's go to a fun New York City cocktail bar. I mean, obviously there are ways to do it safely, but I'd, it's like safer to just stay at home for me and then, you know, go on walks with friends and just like have some tea at home. Not a lot has been going on other than just the apartment thing all freaking week. <laughs> And I hope to have more good news soon. I was trying to think about it. Like, well, should I show you guys? Sort of getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of the payment portal in this case. But I think what I'll do is show you when I move in. Because I think that will just make it way more exciting. And you know that will be the best vlog of our lifetimes. <laughs> But I can't wait to share more information. I hope next time I tune in for this particular vlog, I'm like, the favorite portal worked out. So I'm heading into this alignment ceremony. Big hugs. Hi, friends. Happy Thursday. I feel like this is my new setup for vlogging. <laughs> I'm like, there's no diversity in the frames of this vlog because I feel like I've gotten a good setup going with my new little tripod on my desk, the light coming in. So good to go. I am sitting down to record a podcast episode about the fear of success. I'm you know keeping you guys up to date. It's coming up for me a lot because I'm still freaking handling the payment problem. Last I heard the guarantor service was going to like escalate the issue to their finance team because I have now tried four cards, like all, my three cards, and then I tried Ankita's card, and none of them are going through. And it's literally the last step before I can get the apartment. And so Tiffany, my EFT practitioner, actually did like a really quick 30 to 40 minute session with me today just over the phone because I was starting to cry. I was getting just so nervous. I woke up so nervous just feeling like, oh my gosh, what if this doesn't go through? And it's so minor, but I almost think it was like a little trigger. You know, it was kind of putting salt in this wound around. Am I ready for this? Am I ready for this next step? And I know it's like a full body yes for me. I know I'm ready for this next step. I know I deserve this dream apartment. I know that it's going to up level, not just me, but my friends, my family. It's a huge step in the right direction. I know I know that in my being but there's almost this element of like I don't want to be excited yet because then I don't want to get my hopes up because what if this falls through even though logically there's no way it can fall through so again I'm really leaning on I can I'm attracting everything that I need you know and in this case the thing I need is for this freaking issue to get resolved but then of course trying to look for the silver lining in it like why is this coming up 
and I realized there was just a little bit around when you're getting to the next level in your life like we think about up leveling or this process of expansion is like slowly you know slowly getting outside your comfort zone and this feels like a massive step you know so that's been consuming my day today too it's 3 p.m where is time going I woke up nervous about it I had a few calls a coaching call which was good I did tapping on it and then I've been emailing with them and I just got ready and so I'm just gonna try to spend the rest of today working on things that excite me which in my case is recording my podcast filming some TikToks filming some more for you guys and just being present in the creation because that's the only thing I can control right now you know technology in general is acting kind of weird I actually just added a poll to my Instagram story and I was like is anyone else having technology issues because last night with the alignment ceremony which was really wonderful I've been trying to upload the recording of that to Google Drive and it's not processing I'm like what is going on it's so strange Mercury is not even in retrograde I wish we could blame Mercury Mercury <laughs> let's record this episode got my coffee yum this is like one of those new tripods where you guys are fixated right now on the cushion and it's like linked around it it looks really cool but i'm trying to get the frame good for you guys i feel like most vloggers it's like here's the frame and i'm doing something in the frame and i'm like look look at me trying to do something cool in the frame <laughs> because how nice would it be to just have the window right there I mean, talk about a good frame, am I wrong? <laughs> I'm starting by taking my little brain fuel thing. This is the BLXR stuff I showed you from Beekeepers Natural, my friend Angie showed me, and it's for focus. Knock it back, so I'm in a really good flow for recording this episode, for filming TikToks, and then I might even film a YouTube video, to be determined. It's not the best tasting stuff, but it works immediately it's literally bee stuff bumblebees i'm not understanding fully where the bees come in because it doesn't say it on the ingredients list if you're allergic to bees you're not supposed to take it so if you're allergic to bees don't take my recommendation here okay let's get the show on the road i've already taken my notes on my ipad of some of the things i want to talk about i don't always do that with podcasts but sometimes it's just helpful i find that the best podcast episodes i record are the ones where i don't like stop i just literally keep going like it's a full conversation or like i'm on stage actually standing desk perks why don't we go ahead and stand for this bad boy Ooh! i thought this was a dress i got it from newly but it was it's obviously way too short to be a dress so i just put on these um anthropology pants i promise they're like actual pants and not pajama pants but they're very comfortable anyways <laughs> let's do it big important conversations <laughs> Okay, redo that part. We're going to be talking about the fear of success. It may turn up for you in ways that don't immediately appear to be the fear of success. This may be procrastination. Okay, so I just finished recording. My cheeks are like warm and buzzy, which always happens after I record because I love it so much. So I'm going to record an Instagram story to show people. <laughs> Let's choose a good filter. That's of the utmost important. Certain filters look a little bit too, too glam, you know? It's like, this is not natural. This is awkward to do on camera. This is like, you guys see behind the scenes of getting my hair right, getting the lighting right. I might turn you off. <laughs> I'm just gonna go down with, with my sandy desk. I'm gonna work on some articles for a little while. Client articles. That should be boring for me to vlog, but just know I'm here doing it. Just know I'm here. Microphone's still nearby. Wishing I was speaking into it. I lost my perception. Have a good writing night. <laughs> okay, I just finished up a few articles and I was like typing. Oh my gosh. Whoa, don't worry. It was just the, the, the tripod thing. I was typing so fast. I think it was because of the B thing I took. It's like still impacting me, but I'm going to FaceTime Rachel really quickly. It's been one of those days where I've been alone all day. So I just want to check in with her, see how she's doing. And then I'm going to make these cool gluten free pot stickers that I ordered today. I have to show you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to when I have a new kitchen. Don't get attached, Haley, don't get attached. But like, what sort of background is this? Especially because I like to be a little chef. Not being a chef tonight, but this is what I was telling you guys about. I, I got these pork, I don't know why I said pork. Well, pork pot stickers are, are normal, but I got these gluten-free chicken pot stickers from the same brand, Feel Good Foods. I've never tried them before, so this is not an ad. It's an experimentation. And these are vegetable egg rolls, so all I do is put them in the oven. They look like they're pretty healthy. Let's investigate this. It honestly looks pretty healthy. I just lately have really not been wanting to like order food or even go out to restaurants and... I was gonna cook tonight, but the only thing I have here is shrimp, and I'm still really sick of shrimp after making it last week, so I've been trying to graduate to just like healthy, quick options since I'm working tonight. So I will do a taste test and let you know how 
They are, especially if you're gluten free too. Come back soon. <laughs> okay, they are out of the oven and the update is there's only three of them. So to be determined on if this is gonna be enough for dinner, especially cause they're vegetable. It doesn't feel that hot. So maybe I'll try a bite. I hope I don't burn my tongue on this taste test. It's a little hot, but my mouth is watering. Okay. A hot, I don't know. Okay, it's gonna be too hot. It's gonna be too, we're, we're gonna circle back. I added a TikTok and now it's time. Okay, ready? Mm, this is like really good. I'm gonna turn off my camera so I can just eat this in full enjoyment. But no, this is really good. I really recommend it. The whole purpose of a vlog with a spiritual lesson is obviously to document what I'm not doing very well. This payment issue is still happening and I thought it was gonna get fixed today because they were escalating it to the finance team to figure out why the payment portal is not going through. And I just got this email. I escalated the issue to our finance team to look further. And yesterday I received the follow-up. Right now there is nothing we can do on our end. It may take a couple of business days for it to go through. They notified me that they will keep checking and updating the system, but it will take a few days to be fixed. I apologize that I am not able to give you a clear resolution, but at this time we will need to wait and keep monitoring until the payment is accepted. <gasps> And then it says, I can save your email address to keep it on track and check back with them later, maybe next week. This is the only step left to getting my dream apartment. This is the only step left. Obviously, like, I get it. Like, things have to be fixed eventually or else they don't have a business. Like, how are they ever going to get paid by anybody? You know what I wanted? You know what I, do you know what I want? I just want this all to be solved. And it's like the perfect conglomeration <laughs> of circumstances where it's teaching me exactly the spiritual lesson that I sought out to have this week, which is attracting everything you need, right? And maybe what I need in this moment is not for this to go through for some reason. I'm trying to figure it out. It's hard when you're in it, but I'm still trying to believe I can attract all that I need. I can attract all that I want. This is mine. This is a small obstacle, but it's mine. You know, like I signed the freaking lease. It's my apartment. <laughs> ah! So that's the update. I think like last ditch thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to call the leasing office here and just see what they say and just make sure that they're gonna like hold the apartment for me while this gets figured out. And then I might go try maybe Renee's computer or something just try someone else's computer just in case it's my computer. I tried it on my phone, so I don't really know if that could be the issue, but it's worth, it's worth effort. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay. I've somewhat recovered from the stress earlier. I think it's going to be fine. I think I just need to let this go. Obviously technical difficulties can be fixed and I'm heading out to meet on Kita for dinner. I honestly have not left my apartment like all week aside from going for walks. And I actually think that's it. I guess I went to Alyssa's earlier this week, but I think getting out of the house will do me a lot of good just because staying stagnant like where you are doesn't help anything kind of got to like shake up the energy so yeah feeling much better excited for a good meal some girl time friday night out on the town woot woot <laughs> so let's go i haven't worn these very often but i'm wearing my freebird boots love since they're healed i feel like i can only wear them if i'm gonna like uber somewhere and then get out walk a few steps to like my table and like look cute for a picture <laughs> Does anybody else 